this is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're inside Westfield's uh, shopping centre here in Shepherd's Bush, London, for the George Groves and Media Workout ahead of Frotch versus Groves. It's Saturday with me. I've got trainer to George Groves, Paddy Fitzpatrick. How are you, sir? How's it going? Are you good? I'm very well. Good, man. You're like the man everyone wants to talk to, but you don't really care for this media stuff, do you? No, I've got nothing much sports saying, have I? You sure? Yeah. It's the biggest fight of the year in this country, and uh, you're in the corner of one of their fighters, so that's pretty big news. Yeah, and the fight's big to the people, but I still don't have much to say. Just for people that don't know, just talk to me a little, just briefly tell me about your background with George pre this fight. I helped him out for three fights, very small, small role, just helped him out with the, the Gale fight, Paul Smith and uh, Johnson fight. What did you think of the initial split between George and Adam then? Uh, I'm not going to comment on it, brother, that's two men's private business, it's not, it's not mine, I haven't asked, I haven't got involved. No, God, do me. Okay, so he comes to you straight after that. What did you think about that? His decision to sort of have you in the corner for this fight? Well, I'm a coach and he's a fighter. So he came to me and said, will you train me? I knew he wasn't with Adam no more, so I said, yeah. Is he still working the plan that Adam set out? Is that what you're doing with him? I have no idea. I didn't discuss the plan that Adam had laid out with him. So are you implementing your own ideas into this? Uh He's he's gonna he's gonna sit, tell Carl what he's gonna do tomorrow at the press conference. Yeah, he said that in, in Thursday's press conference. He's gonna say how he is, mm. uh, how, how he's gonna beat him, brother. Yeah. Um, what did you think about his comments the other day that he doesn't really need a trainer uh, on ringside the other day when he was asked about this whole Adam Booth thing and you and him, and he said that he, he just needed someone literally in the corner to give him the water more or less. What, what do you I think about that. it? You can do that. I can do that. Watch. <laughs> Go on, son. There you go. That's very good. I, I know why he's employed you now, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, Paddy, how confident are you that George can... This is an upset in, in everyone's... Most people's eyes if he does this. Apart from... There's a lot of people I've spoke to, as you would have maybe spoke to, but most people I've spoke to have swayed with Frotch in this fight. But why are you confident that George can do this and upset the apple cart? Well, let me ask you a question then. Did you see Frotch, Jermaine Taylor? Yes. Who was winning that until he got knocked out? Yes, Jermaine Taylor was. Okay, no, yeah. these are just questions I'm asking you. So, right, so he was winning them. Okay, by using the jab, not moving too much, and he wasn't going forward. Now, Darrell, who did you think won that? Yeah, you got a, case, a, a good case for Darrell that won that fight, yes. Okay, so but Carl won it, yeah. Yeah, yeah and fair play, Carl yeah. did win it, yeah. I'm not taking nothing off the man, so... Let, let, since this is the first interview I've done, let me say by saying I ain't disrespecting no one. I'm pointing out things the same way as anyone else would point them out. He's had struggles. He's got to the dressing room after Jermaine Taylor and thought, damn, pull that out of the bag. He's got to the dressing room and thought, got the decision. That was tight against Darrell. He's been backed up by an old Glenn Johnson. He's been out hustled inside by Ward. There's been four different ways shown that give him problems. Now my question is, do you think that... Do you think Jermaine Taylor buzzed him in the third round? Did he buzz him twice and then drop him? Before he dropped him, he buzzed him twice. Didn't hurt him, he buzzed him. And then he dropped him. And even if he didn't hurt him when he dropped him, he dropped him. And he was a 19 knockout middleweight. He's not a big punch in middleweight. And that was at super middleweight. He has a great chin. But that doesn't mean that he can't get hurt in the chin. And sometimes dudes with a great chin get hit too much because they don't realise they've been getting hit you tell me do you think George's jab is as good as Jermaine Taylor's has he got as good and effective a jab as Jermaine Taylor what do you think I don't know you don't know I don't know no? do you think he can move as good as Durrell George moves very well so basically technically he's able to do the things that have been shown to cause Carol problems Okay, so now it's just can he do them on the big stage? Is that the, is that the question? That, that, that's fair enough, but what about the fact that Jules hasn't fought anyone that's on Carl's level? Would you agree with that so far? Yeah, but th this is this is the stage in every fighter's career that they get to. Carl got to it in his 24th fight. Joe Calzaghe got to it in his 23rd fight. Andre Ward got to it in his 19th fight. It's, it is that turning when you have to, are you now a contender or can you do it? 
and that's what this fight is. So when you're against such a big celebrated champion as Carl Froch, who's rightly celebrated, but since you're against such a big celebrated fighter, then obviously it's like, oh, is he ready for him? But it wouldn't matter who he's fighting, it's now he's fighting for the world title. Is he ready? Listen, there ain't nobody knows me. You all know George. He hasn't been able to convince none of you, so why would I try? 23rd. That's it. Can't say nothing, can I? I could stand here all day and do a 10-hour interview. You'd still walk away going, psh, proj. Who cares? Uh, listen, um, I don't think... Listen, George is in his position because he's mandatory to fight, so... It, there's no, argu there's no argument whether he deserves to be in the yeah. ring with Cole or yeah. not. That's, that's not the question. And I'm not saying yeah. that either. I'm saying yeah. the perception, obviously. What you're asking me is, yeah. is he ready? Yeah. I can't answer that. Either can he. He couldn't answer it honestly. But the same way as Carl Froch can't answer honestly that he's going to beat him because he ain't done it yet. He ain't done it yet. The only way to find out is Saturday night around midnight is no, midnight, to see what happens. Rock and roll and that's what happens. What? How do you feel that George has conducted himself during this whole build-up to the fight? Um, possibly have got under cold skin a little bit in some interviews and ringside appearances and that. What do you think about that? Well, I haven't seen him being arrogant, which is what Carl and and, um, and uh, I heard Robert, his trainer yesterday as well, saying that, Carl, that George has been arrogant. And I haven't heard that. I heard him being if you could call it disrespectful, one time on ringside where he said, I'm going to knock this chump out when he said that. But Carl had called him a chump earlier in the interview. The only thing that he has said to me and that I've heard him say publicly is that Carl is a great fighter. He's done a lot for British boxing and I'm better than him. That's what he said. How is that disrespectful? He, what, is, to show respect, should he say I'm not as good as him, but I'll give him my best shot? He hasn't been disrespectful. He's said technically what he believes he's capable of doing and it doesn't sit easy with Carl and that's that's Carl's problem not George's alright well listen I'm not going to take too much of your time Paddy Fitzpatrick thanks for talking to IFL TV nice to meet you nice to meet you thank you very much and uh, listen Saturday night all these questions that everyone's got and uh, perceptions of what's going to happen will yeah. become the reality Saturday night so exactly. we'll see what happens yeah man that's it Hi, brother. Nice hat, by the way. Thank you. Does that come in the corner as well? That comes everywhere with me. i got a selection of them. They come everywhere with me. Alright. Co Coogan Cassis here with Paddy Fitzpatrick here at Westfields in the Shepherd's Bush uh, for IFL TV. Thank you very much.